Hello everyone. In this particular session, we will see about LSMW using recording method and we will create the object that is customer using the LSMW recording method. Go to LSMW. Here, now we will create a project name as SD. We will create master data and here we will change to customer RC that is recording method. No project exit with name SD. Click on create. Let's say SD module sub project name master data and the object name is customer. This is all is a key combination that is the SD model master data and customer underscore RAC. As per our naming convention, we can give any name. Press enter, click execute. We can see initially there are many steps out there. Select the first one that is maintain object attribute. Click on execute icon. Now this time select the second one that is batch input recording. In case of batch input recording, what system do actually? If you are creating, doing transaction with any T code, like here I am using X01. So in case of the recording method, system capture all the recordings, all the screens, like which T code we enter, first which program system has called, what was the screen number, on that particular screen, which field we have selected, after after first screen, which was the next screen? On next screen, what details we have entered? So in recording method, system capture all the screens with the cursor field and the fields which we have entered. And when you run the recording, when you actually run the LSNW, system just replay the whole recording with the new values. Okay. So this complete we'll see in this session. Go back to our LSNW batch input recording. Click on recording over you. Click the create icon. Give the recording name at ZXD01. Let's say customer creation. Press enter with key code which we want to record here xd01 press enter this is the initial screen enter the account group as triple zero one let me check yes sold to party now here select this checkbox use central as address management this was not possible in case of direct input select the checkbox press enter here we have to enter all the required fields or the fields as per our requirement. So here I am entering as Rohit Sharma, let's say 1. In the search term, I am entering as Rohit. I am giving the postal code as 411004. The city is Pune. Country, IN. The state code is 13, that is Rastra. Go back on the same screen. Paste down. Here I want to enter the telephone number. Let's say. And here I want to enter the email address. Let's say. Press enter. Click on save. So here if you observe. System capture, system captures all the details. Now here if you see, first we enter the T code XD01. Then system call this program and the screen number was 100. Then system capture the cursor position, the OK code, what we have done on this screen. And it captured all the field name with the field value which we have entered. Like this, it captured 
all the screen with the screen number which was called and after getting that screen where was the cursor position what all the field details we filled on that screen these are field values and after entering all the field detail what ok code that is user command we enter so that was enter we press so we can see here so that's 0 0 okay so we can see all the details here so after getting this screen what we have to do click on default all once you click on default all so we can see all the field name on this pink color box okay here this data is repeating because when I press enter on the initial screen it was moved to second screen then I click on back button so again it was on the first screen okay so if you want to remove any fields we can remove so here I'm going to remove this field because this is also captured in the first screen okay so remove the unwanted field okay I will keep the telephone number and the email ID click on save button go back go back enter the recording name which we will enter that is zxd01 customer creation save at any point of time if you want to see the details just come here and click on overview and you can just display the recording details okay you can see this anytime go back go back now create a source structure execute create zxd01 str customer master structure click on save button go back now we have already seen earlier what are different methods of maintaining source field so here in this case what we'll do we'll go for the object overview click here click on list click on overview in table format so we can see all the fields which we enter on the screen system has captured all field with their technical length and the description so we'll use the same one what we'll do we'll just copy all the field details from here only Control c go to the excel file and Control v so here we automatically get all the field details with their name data type and the length now in the table maintenance this one is the last field we just cut this column paste here and the characters are mentioned as only c that is character just maintain C so let me insert one column here maintain C in all then we will remove this one ok table name we don't require T code also we don't require we will make it hard code in the uh, constant in the field mapping customer com group also not required we maintain from name one only copy those field here go back in the source field execute select the structure click on table maintenance copy the field as it is from excel ok go back so you can see all the fields here maintain structure relation execute only one structure so automatically assign to the structure relation 
execute uh, save go back auto it will uh, go to next step maintain field mapping and convention rules now here the account group account group we want to make as constant here the account group will be 0001 name one I want to assign on the source field that is name one now for remaining we'll go for the autofill assignment go to autofill mapping execute enter accept 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 you can see the auto field mapping is done by the system okay execute go back no need to maintain uh, duty conversion rule here now first before assigning the file create the data in a text file so here I am ready with my data just copy this in a text close this go to lsnw specify file execute double click on legacy data select the file name data for one source structure okay first give the description that is customer details i'm using the tabulator format and no field name at the first row but the field order matches my structure go back assign file just click on save read data one record is read from the uh, file display read data press enter we can see the file data as well text file go back convert data as per the LSNLU format, click on execute, go back, display converted data, go back, create a batch input session. Here, select the key batch input session for a folder. This will keep the file in a SN35 folder execute one batch input folder with one transaction created run batch input session click execute this is the sn35 screen select the record click on process so here we have foreground background select the foreground only first time so here you can see on the initial screen the id is entered Press enter. You can see all the details, the name, the search term, and the field details. It's still the telephone number and email ID not placed because I'm not press enter yet. As soon as I press enter, it's moved to the next screen. Coming back, now I can see the telephone number. So what is this doing? This is repeating the same recording. This is repeating the all the recorded screen in the same sequence in the same manner. Okay, press enter. You can see processing of batch input session completed. So one batch input session successfully completed. Go back. Now we check the record in the table. Go to SE16. This time table KNA1. Today's date. Check one record. This one is the summary which we have recently created and the ID is 119. Just copy this ID, go to XD03, 119, you can see the record is successfully created. Okay, so in this way, we're done with the session of LSNW recording method using the create customer master.